Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Sui. So Sui is still pushing um, higher overall here on the larger time. I mean, it's the one hour time frame, but I've zoomed out a little bit. So we are still forming higher highs and higher lows. As I said yesterday, don't panic about a dip into support. I mean, the support levels have been mentioned. The support levels are now being tested. But that's precisely what prices do, right? They test support levels. So we haven't broken any critical Fibonacci support, which would be relevant for the Elliott wave counts. Um, so the idea is still, and the yellow count remains my preferred scenario. And I will tell you when I will change my preferred scenario to a more bearish one. But for now, I still would like to see circle three, which is the larger degree third wave, would like to get that at least to 247 or higher. So when we're tracking this move to the upside, I've got a wave one from the low in August. I've got a wave two into the low in September. And then a third wave could be unfolding right now. And that third wave should be a five wave move itself. Now, the micro count here is really not very clear. Uh, I still show it to you, but as I said, I'm not confident uh, about it. I still give you my best view. Um, with that, due to that micro count, I have come up a few days ago with this support area, which we are going to take a look at when I zoom in. It's between $1.40 and I think $1.66. As long as it's holding, focus can be on higher more directly to 247 plus. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then once circle wave three is reached at, uh, as I said, 247 plus, then I'm watching for a wave four pullback and another high in wave five which should reach uh, sort of 281 plus, okay? But that's something for the future. Below $1.40, and I will zoom in in a minute, but below $1.40, the more bearish scenario becomes more likely, but will only be preferred with a break below $1.20. Bearish count means we have a low in wave one here in August. This is an A, B, C structure to the upside with a possible breakdown but it takes a break below the 50% retracement of the rally that started early in September to confirm that the red count is taking the lead. That should provide some clarity. Now, if we go to the smaller time frame, or at least if I zoom in, because we've been on the one hour chart uh, all along, um, you can see here that the market has, obviously the idea was, you know, we've, we've kind of topped there in wave, um, in wave three in yellow, ABC pullback, I did explain to you yesterday we could get another low. The resistance is all the way up to 180. It's still being respected, but it's already getting quite massive for an internal fourth wave. So maybe something different is playing out there. As I said, you know, the, the as I said, the micro count itself is unreliable. So counting even here this sort of nano scale within a correction, it doesn't give you much clarity, but you still get some kind of resistance levels. Um, as I said here, 172 to 180, that is still holding. If we break above it, it might be a first indication that this wave four has bottomed, but would require a break above $2 to confirm it further. Next upside Fibonacci levels to watch are $2.18 and 247. So still watching for higher. Next support is a 152 and 140, as I mentioned, okay? So overall, uh, all I can say is the last rally here from the Thursday low, is in three waves so it's not yet a bottoming confirmation but again that's where micro counting really isn't very helpful you get lots of distortions on these smaller time frames and the levels are more important so 140 is one key risk level this fibonacci area and this 50 percent retracement is really key for this fourth wave whether we've bottomed or not but that's a key level below that level this cannot be the way forth this wave degree but there's a bit of a buffer zone all the way down to 120. So below 140, I would have to change the microstructure. Uh, below 120, it can't be an upside impulse anymore, which will lead to a uh, yeah more bearish interpretation. So yeah, please know that we are at the moment in a key resistance area anyway. The $1.77 level is exactly the level where the red wave two can easily form a top, but without a break of support, that's not gonna be my preferred outcome. That's the update about Sui. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.